In the depths of winter, it can be a tall order keeping our body temperature even, and it's no different for animals. Joe Hall discovered the length staff at Zoos Victoria go to to keep their precious charges cosy. For most of us, keeping warm during the winter months can be a challenge, especially if you come from the tropics. While it can be a little bit tricky for all of us to get out of bed in the morning, uh, it's the same for, for those animals. For the zoo family at Werribee, the frosty mornings and chilly nights call for drastic measures. We have things like heat pads and, and heat lamps which provide additional sources of heat and uh, lots of different nesting materials. When you come from a climate of blistering days, this might seem like three-star accommodation, but it's not. The gorilla boys, for example, uh, they've got uh, their own shelters each uh, with a heat pad. Our lion group also has heat pads and often it might be making a lovely little nest or a little bed to stay nice and warm. The vervet monkeys and koalas have custom-built pods, the giraffes heated night dens, but it's the most cold-blooded who get the most attention. Our tortoise group uh, love uh, the option of going inside and outside, but we need to make sure that if they go outside, uh, their, their needs are provided for. And even on the savannah, there are sheltered areas and windbreaks to provide cover from the elements. It's especially important with our elderly animals um, as they start to feel, um, you know, joint related issues and things like that. Here at Melbourne Zoo, there's the same attention to detail, but the one constant is the butterfly house. With the temperature set at a balmy 28 degrees, it's a place we can all come to thaw out on these cold winter days. And often we end up with multiple beanies some days where people will just warm up enough to leave without them. And while the keepers can wear shorts in winter if they choose, the colourful creatures they care for are life dependent on their tropical home. These butterflies, most of them are from far north Queensland and Northern Territory, and so they need those elevated temperatures to keep them flying. Nearby neighbours, the ring-tailed lemurs, are also weather-wise, snuggling together in floor-heated caves and pods. There's 11 lemurs, ring-tailed lemurs in here, so they try and sit in little subgroups and keep them so warm. So a bit of body heat? And... A bit of body heat. Um, some of the smaller monkeys have got the heat lamps. The gorilla dens have heated night pads with soft bedding, comfy enough for a human, according to keepers, while the squirrel and treetop monkeys are living in cosy luxury that's also aesthetically pleasing. They have got the mushrooms on the tree, which are heated, and also... Um, Locks, like tree trunks, which have got heating in them. So if it ever crossed your mind to wonder how our precious zoo creatures cope with the cold, rest assured, they're warm as toast. You need to keep your animals warm. If you don't, they lose condition and because so much energy goes into trying to huddle and keep warm. Joe Hall, Nine News.